Hello, everybody. I'm back with another quick, easy project. This one is for the men in your life for Christmas. So I had some leftover denim, and I thought I would do um, a little apron for uh, my son who loves to cook. and He's uh, a fan of uh, the Christmas gnomes, so I embroidered a little gnome on here for fun. Um, just did that at the spur of the moment, but I'm using a quarter of a yard of denim, and it's cut um, about 36 inches long, so it's it's not very wide. As you can see, it's it's rather narrow, but it's wide enough to, to cover what it needs to cover, so it'll work. And then what I did was I folded it in half, like so. And at the top, I cut out a piece um, so that it fits comfortably around the underarm. Uh, it's about eight inches wide total at the top here, so about four inches wide um, for the very top of the front where we're gonna attach the strap that goes around the neck. And then I just eyeballed a curve um, down to where the underarm would be, and this will be the side seam. So it's very simple. You don't really need a pattern. You can just kind of eyeball everything, and I'm going to show you how we're going to put that together. Uh, a couple other things you may want to add is a pocket on the front. This is uh, an extra piece of fabric. It's the same width as everything else, so it's just a quarter of a yard wide, and it's cut eight inches um, deep and I'm going to hem that and we'll put a pocket on here so he has a place to keep his cell phone or um, whatever else while he's working in the kitchen and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the straps I've got some a leftover binding from another project just some strips of red cotton quilting fabric um, that are cut two inches wide and we're going to use those um, around the armhole and at the neck, but we'll get to that in a bit. Then the other thing I have here is, um, this is actually inside out someplace. I have another piece of this, but um, this is what we're gonna use for the ties around the back of the apron. This is a piece of fabric cut four and a half inches wide, and um, I just folded it in half and started um, stitching to see how I wanted the belt to work. We'll turn that right side out and that will be the ties on the side. So I have two of those um, to work with. So we'll get to the, all those steps in a minute. But for now, uh, let's talk a little bit about the settings on your sewing machine when you work with denim. So because denim is so heavy, you're gonna need to make some adjustments. And I always use a, a larger needle. This particular one is, what I do with it? a 16 size 16 needle it's made for denim and if I can show you the package if I can find it this is a, another similar one too but um, I prefer the the Smetch brand this this here it is this is the top stitching needle so Smetch is my favorite um, top stitching needles my favorite needles for anything really uh, it's a size 16 very heavy duty, um, should work well on this denim. And then I also have some, I'm using Guterman uh, thread. It's a heavier weight thread, which is also made for denim, 100% cotton. Um, I'm using that in the bobbin and on the um, top of the machine. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing is we're going to edge stitch this piece for the pocket. So I'm gonna fold the top of it over a quarter of an inch and I'm going to stitch along here and then we're going to turn it again to make a hem. Um, the settings on my machine, I'm using a straight stitch for this with a stitch length of 4.0. Because of the weight of the denim, you need to have a longer stitch to make it work. So we're going to just sew right along the center of this, folding it over a quarter of an inch. I use the inside of my pretzel foot as a guide. So I don't have to mess with pins. Do 
that all the way across. Okay, so this is the first step. Then I'm going to fold it over again. This is going to be a one inch fold this time. And I use a small hem ruler to measure. Where's what I wanted? I can't find it. Well, this will work. This isn't my favorite tool, but it'll work. Um, so I just measure as I sew this an inch wide just to be consistent here. And I'm going to adjust my needle so that I'm top stitching along the edge of the fabric. Put the needle in the left position. We're going to stitch again on the other side. You can tell the machine sounds different now because it's going through um, more than one layer of denim. So much heavier. And make sure the stitch is the right, the right length, 4.0 for this. Just measuring it all the way across. Denim is usually one of my favorite things to sew. It's a little different than sewing other things. So. Tack it at the end. Oops. Okay, so there's the top of our pocket. And now I'm going to just place it onto the front of the apron. So I'm going to measure down from the underarm about two inches, I think will be a good spot. I'll use my little ruler here. Actually, maybe two and a half inches, a little bit lower. This uh, armhole is quite um, exag exaggerated, so it's not a uh, close fit under the arm. So that I'm thinking waist will be right about here. I'm just gonna put a pin in it to hold it there. We'll do the other side, make sure that it's even. About two and a half inches down, there we go. Okay, so uh, then, oh, I forgot to hem the bottom of the pocket, so we need to do that next. Because it's the, the bottom of the pocket, it's a little less work than doing the top edge. So I'm just going to fold this over a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna stitch it on my machine here. And then we'll top stitch it. So I'm putting my needle back in the center position, still using the 4.0 stitch length. And I'm just going to sew this. Down here, quarter of an inch again, as before. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I can um, go through them at the end and see if I can answer any questions you might have while I'm working. It's a little bit hard uh, for me to see the screen, so. There we go. Okay, so we have a top, top stitch at the bottom part of the pocket here. It's just the quarter of an inch. That's what it looks like. So now we're gonna go in and essentially we're gonna baste the edge to keep this pocket in place. So I'm putting it under my needle here. I'm gonna use the same um, quarter of an inch seam allowance at the edge and I'm just going to top stitch this down so it doesn't move on me. Okay, so we're going to 
gonna do that on both sides. So then I want to go back and sew the bottom of the pocket down. And now it will be really easy. So we have a stitching line here. Uh, it's hard for you to see, I know, because I did it in black thread and I even can hardly see it, but it's there. And I'm going to follow that line of stitching and stitch right on top of it, all the way across the bottom of the pocket to secure it in place. And that the new line of stitching will blend right in with the first one that we did. And you won't even be able to tell that it's got two stitching lines there. There we have it. So the pocket is on here now. You can see it's in place. And now it's it's a fairly wide pocket. So if you put much in there, it's kind of going to tumble out uh, because it's almost too wide. So this time I'm going to put a couple vertical rows of stitching in here to make it two smaller pockets. You could even make it three. This piece is um, definitely wide enough for three pockets, but I'm just going to make two pockets uh, out of it and I'm going to kind of use folding it in half to give me an idea of where that middle line should be. So this looks pretty good. I'm just going to stitch it back and forth a bit. This is going to be a stress point, so you really want to make sure to secure it really well at the top. down to the bottom. Now, I don't want to go over that bottom row of stitching. I want to sew up to it. So I'm going to be careful where I end my stitching line there. Okay, so now we have the pocket in two sections. You can see both of those. So that's essentially what the pocket um, is. It's not too difficult. So now we're going to go and finish the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is sew another uh, same technique as before, quarter of an inch hem across the top here. We're just, I'm just going to fold it over, eyeball it, and I'm using the uh, inside of the presser foot as my guide. Secure the stitches and sew across the top. Okay, and now I want to make another hem. So I'm going to roll this over and stitch a one inch hem, one inch hem here. And I'm going back to my little handy dandy ruler, measure that. And once again, I have a stitching line to follow. So this should be really easy. You just follow your original line of stitching here. Once it's folded over, same stitch length 4.0. So there's the top. You could top stitch along this um, upper edge if you prefer. I'm not going to do that right now um, because of our time frame here. You could certainly do that. I'm going to trim these threads a little bit and trim the fabric even because the next thing we're going to do is our armhole. I'll show you how to finish that. 
So I have these pieces of bias, uh, just cotton quilting fabric. It's easier to work with this uh, on a curved surface than it is with the denim. The denim is so heavy and um, difficult. So I found that by using just cotton fabric, it works much easier. So these are bias strips that are cut two inches wide. I'm going to fold it with the wrong side together and then place that on the raw edge here of the apron. Just put a couple pins in it to hold it in place. Along the arm opening. And you're gonna sew all the way off the edge so you can just kind of leave that tail. We'll, we'll trim it after we sew. I guess it's a little long, so I'll take some of it off now. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew this on here as before with the same stitch length. I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance this time. And I'm sew through all the layers. Make sure you take your pins out. Don't ever sew over your pins. That's a disaster. Don't ever do that. going to trim this seam a little bit just to reduce some of the bulk there just trim it down to an eighth of an inch the denim is so heavy if you leave extra fabric in there it's just going to make things more difficult so as much as you can get rid of it's a good idea to do that Cut it off with your scissors all the way to the end. Okay, and then there's a couple different ways you can do this. You could leave the fabric showing as a contrast, like so, or you could turn it all the way back so that you don't see the contrasting edge. Um, for this particular project, I think I'm going to turn it all the way over uh, just because this denim I'm using is extremely heavy and it would be kind of a challenge to sew a narrow, narrow binding on here. So I'm going to turn it all the way to the inside and stitch it. At the top, I'm going to trim my end here, leave about half of an inch. And I'm going to just turn it to the inside like this. And then when I fold it over, it will finish that top edge. It helps to press this in place, of course. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to work with mine the way it is. And I'm moving my needle back into this left-hand position so that I can get a nice close stitching line along the edge there. There you go. to work around the bend here. Working around this curve can be difficult, but we can do it. Okay, all 
the way to the edge. All right, so that finishes that. Now I can trim the, the end part of this tail off the side. And I have clean finished the top edge. It's looking pretty good. There we go. So we can do the other side of the armhole in the same manner. This is what it's looking like on the inside. You can see that it's clean finished on the inside. You don't see it from the outside of the apron, okay? So you can clean finish the other side of the arm. Now, the next step would be to finish the side of the apron and in similar fashion, we're going to fold this over and then stitch it. You could also use the bias binding to finish the edge depending on how thick your denim is. Um, this area where the pocket is attached is going to be a challenge because you're gonna have multiple layers of denim right here um, but I think my machine can sew through it. So I'm going to chance it and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to first um, do the quarter of an inch stitch. It's a good idea to always start your row of stitching with the needle down into the fabric, especially when it's heavy like this. It just makes everything go smoother. There we go. And getting over this seam could be a little bit of an issue, so I'm going to be careful using my uh, pointer here to make sure that my foot isn't going to get stuck on there. There is a tool, a plastic tool you can buy um, that you can slide underneath. I can't remember what it's called. And I have one someplace, but I don't know where it is. So we're just going to wing it. We can do it. And for some reason, my machine seems to be changing the stitch length on me. There we go. Make sure your stitch length is long. For this kind of heavy sewing, you need long stitch length. There we are. Okay, now you have some options here. So you can see that this is of course, such heavy fabric. And if I turn this hem over again, which is what I would normally do when I sew, the issue here again is gonna be the pocket. So a couple of options, um, because this is for my son, and I know he's not, he's not a picky type person, I think I might just clean this uh, raw edge up and just put some fray check along here and not even do another row of stitching. Um, you could also use the bias binding and put that down the side here for him. I don't think he's going to care. So I'm just gonna clean that up with some fray check and leave it the way it is. Turning this over again would be my first. Then the only thing left would be the bottom hem. And we're gonna use the same technique for the bottom hem as we did for the top, which is to fold over a quarter of an inch and then do a one inch seam same thing at the bottom part of the apron. I think you can figure that part out. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, neck strap. Next. So I had cut a two inch piece of denim um, with the denim. So I'm putting the right side of the denim together with the right side of the bias. This is a, again a two inch piece. And we're going to sew these together as um, the neck band. Okay, the only reason I'm using this is because, again, it's the weight of the denim. The denim is super heavy. It's just easier with one layer of cotton and one layer of denim than it is to sew. That also would work. So we're going to this on three sides here. Okay, 
So in order to get this to turn correctly, I'm going to have to do some trimming here. This should be cut down to an eighth so that you get a nice sharp point when you turn it. Trim away all that bulk at the end here so that it's easy to turn right side out. For this, then I use just a number two pencil. You've probably seen me do this before if you've watched my tutorials, but I like to use a pencil with an eraser a nice clean point you're going to use a straight pin and push that into the corner of where the fabric's going to be and pull every little bit of that out till it's a nice smooth point at the end there we go we'll do the other side Okay, and of course you can give this good pressing so that it's nice and straight. Mine's a little bit twisted here. Then, when we go to sew this on here, you can do it a couple of ways, I guess. You can put it on the front of the apron if you wish, or you can sew it to the back. I think um, I am going to put mine on the front here. Okay, then after I, I'm going to have to finish my other um, armhole area first before I attach the other end of the next strap but what I would do then is put the raw edges of the fabric kind of tuck them inside the tube with my fingers at least a quarter of an inch maybe even half an inch to be on the safe side to make sure that they're not going to come out press that and then you can stitch that on the same. Top stitching is always a good idea. Keeps things from rolling like this. I probably, maybe I'll go back and top stitch. 